welcome back. Happy Thursday. Surprise. Surprise is right. Here we are. <laughs> we're saying we're only going live on Wednesday, but... You know, we got to show we're up. We're here. We're here. We missed you guys. That's all it was. I know. We just missed being in love with you guys. And it's been a long time since me and Alicia have been together. I know. Nor so Tanner likes to be on Wednesday lives because he knows y'all miss him. Yes. And so we've only been live once a week. So then me and Lauren aren't live. We're right. together every day working. Yeah. You guys don't see that. <laughs> but we don't but, go live together. But, right. Yeah. So we decided that we were going to go live with you guys today because mm -hmm. we did have a lot of people asking questions yesterday in our comments. What are you guys making for Makeathon? Well, we, well, we decided that we were just going to show you. Yeah. So we're going to show you. Obviously, we're not going to go through the techniques. We're just going to talk about the projects a little bit, give mm -hmm. you all a little sneak peek. Hopefully, those of you guys who might be on the fence about Makeathon, we're hoping to like push, push you, you right over the over. edge because we want to see you there. Like we want to craft with you guys. Right. We want to have like a real conversation. Like I feel like we get to have conversations with you all here on YouTube, but it's a lot different because you all are typing out what you want to say and we're responding back. Whereas with Makeathon, we're hoping that it's more of like a conversation. Like you can talk to us, we can hear you, we can right. talk back kind of thing. Right. And we have, uh, we were just laying these projects out on the table and I was like, these are like pretty substantially sized projects like they're yeah. big and not only that but whenever you guys come to Makeathon you're gonna be making these with us like in real time right so the events from 10 to 5 on Saturday this coming Saturday and you all are going to be like in the live chat with us it won't uh -huh. be like this it's, it's gonna, not gonna be on YouTube it's gonna be via zoom yes yeah. so it's like kind of an exclusive event and we're gonna be able to hopefully see you all you can't see right now but there's a gigantic monitor yeah and it's <laughs> it's so weird because like here in a minute when i go over to the table normally <laughs> and this is just a little behind the scenes for you guys so we have a bathroom in here and normally there's a mirror so like i can kind of see what i'm doing we can like peek and see what we're we look like yeah this monitor is so big like i can't see the it's just like barely under the camera kind of thing yeah. so it's it, big we've got it in here ready to go for Saturday super super excited yes um Gail you got a supply list sent to you all via email we sent that out a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. we've added some things to it um so we sent out so you should have if you were a Megathon member already we sent out an email this week and if you have not seen it make sure to check your email because I sent mm -hmm. out a video on how to cut our round shadow box that we're making because yes. I want you all to have it pre-cut. Um, if you're like, what are you talking about? We're about to show you. Um, yeah. There's also an updated supply list for Explore users. Like we added a couple things in for one of our wood projects. And then I think that was the only thing we added to the supply list was like yes. wood veneer. And then there was just like a little tidbit about what's kind of going on. So make sure if you already have tickets that you're checking your email so you can stay uh, today yes yeah, so. and that is also where you're going to get the link for the zoom is through your email mm -hmm. so if you are not seeing it first of all check your spam sometimes things like that will go to spam so you yeah. may have to check your spam if not if you don't have it by tomorrow you're going to need to email customer service and we also had some of our friends that bought tickets to make a thon we had some people ask yesterday can i purchase a ticket to make a thon and not be a member Absolutely, you can do that. Yes. If you want to just craft with us for one day, you can do that. What I actually did this morning was I compiled all of the cut files that we have that we have used for Makeathon. So cut files, fonts, everything that we're going to be doing, I compiled it into a zip file so that if you aren't a member, you still can participate and have those files and keep them forever. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of nice. That way you all don't have to feel obligated to do both right now. Yeah. And maybe after this Saturday, you're going to be like, I'm going to be a member. I want to join this club. Yes. This fun little community. So maybe we'll change your mind. Who knows? And another thing that I do really, really want to reiterate with you guys, especially for those that might purchase a ticket let's say today mm -hmm. the supplies that we're doing these projects we tried to think okay if i'm already a crafter what are what are some things that i probably have laying around my house that i can create these absolutely stunning projects with and yeah. not have to go out and purchase a ridiculous amount of supplies right and here in a minute you're gonna see 
everything that we do, there is a probably about an 80% chance that you already have this stuff. Yes. You may have to go out and get a few extra, but it's not going to be something that you can't run to Walmart and get that you right. have to order. It's not going to be something that you can't that you can you can go to Dollar Tree and get half of this stuff. One of our wreaths is almost entirely Dollar Tree except yes. for the wood part. So that's pretty nice. And we you all know we got to throw in a Dollar Tree project. Yeah. Um, I saw a question on here. Someone was saying, Erica saying none of the links in the email from earlier this week worked for her. So if you all are not able to open your links, please email hi at makersgonnalearn.com. Yes. Sadie dropped the email there for you all. We need to get you all set so you're ready to go on Saturday. We want you to have the Zoom link. We want you to have mm -hmm. everything that you need. So don't be scared to like reach out to us. We'll help you as best as we can. Yeah. Um, and there was somebody else, uh, will we need our cameras on or our mics? You don't have to if you don't want to. That's just going to be completely up to you all. If you don't want to have your camera on, you don't have to. Um, if you don't want to speak, you don't have to turn your mic on. That's right. completely, that is going to be up to you guys. Um, I do want to give you all a little bit of a, a little bit of a sneak peek that I don't know that we've talked about, but there is going to be opportunity for you all to check out a breakout room and ask us questions one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. that I'm really, really excited about. Yes. Um, like if you're having issues, things like that. Um, so I'm super, super excited yeah. about that. It's going to be interesting to see how all of that works. So, and you know, if you all, like if this is your first event with us, this is also our first time doing an event like this. Yes. And so... Hopefully, and we know all of our loyal members will be so understanding and so helpful to other people who may have questions that we can't really necessarily get to because there's going to be like 600 of you guys. Like, there's a lot. Yeah. And we want to be able to interact with as many people as possible um, as well as make sure that the show runs smoothly. So we've got like a whole team of people that are going to be here doing things in the background like Sadie's on production. Yeah. We have a tech guy that's helping us out a ton. Uh-huh. Um, so, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. It's going to be crazy. I'm excited. I'm super excited. Yeah. And somebody did ask, what if I did, I saw this comment before we went live. Somebody had said that they had a prior engagement, that they're not going to be able to be with us Saturday. Y'all, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I know, like, if to be able to craft live with us is an absolutely amazing thing to be able to do. But if you can't do that, you have lifetime access right. to all of this stuff that you're going to see. So it's going to be in your MGL dashboard. You're going to be able to go back and watch replays if you forget how to do something, or maybe. There was one section that you had to step away from your computer and you didn't get to complete. You can go back and rewatch. That's all going to be there for you. Yeah. Um, lifetime access. Yes. I'm so I'm so excited. I feel like we're just like having a little party with our best friends and like we're making things. And y'all, none of my I have one friend who likes to really make stuff. And so we plan craft days, but like. Really, I'm only crafting at work. I know. And so it's fun to feel like we're getting together with like all of our besties and making a bunch of fun crafts. I know. So that's why I'm so excited. I think that's my biggest thing too is just getting able to share with you guys and like craft along with you. Yeah. Answer your questions. Yeah. It's just going to be so much fun. Yeah. But I want you guys to drop me an emoji if you are ready to see these projects because here in a minute, Yay. I'm going to go over to the table. There's so many. And I'm going to show you guys. Yay. So oh, drop me an emoji if you are excited and you want to see them. I can't wait for these emojis to start mm -hmm. rolling. Best craft friends, Lindsay says. That's right. Um, will we still be able to ask questions if we can't be there live? So you won't obviously won't be able to ask questions within the Zoom call. But if you have any questions and you're watching it after the live event, you can always email hi at makersgonnalearn.com and we will answer any questions. So whenever you email our customer service team, they send them directly to me and Lauren and Tanner and Courtney yeah. and whoever can answer it. Um, and we give them the answer back if they don't already know. So right. if you feel like you've got questions, don't don't hesitate to reach out to us. So Okay, it looks Yay. like everybody is ready. Okay, let's, let's go ahead do and head it. over to the craft table so that I can show you all these amazing projects. Have they I mean like has no one's even seen them unless they're 
going to make a thon, right? They've seen them in the email, They've but nobody else. They've seen them else. in the email, but that's it. That's okay. the only time that we have shown any of these projects. Yay. So let's go ahead and jump into what we are going to be creating. Obviously, without giving too much away, um, somebody just asked, is it too late to buy a ticket? Absolutely not. Sadie's going to drop that link for you all. If you want to grab a ticket to craft with us on Saturday, um, we would absolutely love to see you guys there. But this is what we're going to be making. And I'm so excited to really jump in and explain all of this with you guys. Mm -hmm. So first off, I want to start off with this amazing paper shadow box y'all let's go overhead this is something this is a 3d shadow box that alicia and courtney created um that i'm just obsessed with like i, just I think it is it. so cute and here is a different version you all can see this one is the one that is linked in our um and this is the one that Alicia is going to be making yes. on um, Saturday. So this is the picture that you all saw. But this is another one that Alicia made with the rolled paper flowers that I just, it's so elegant. I, yes. I love it. And I wanted, even if you all open the email already, if you've already got tickets, um, I'll, I mentioned that I want you all to feel like you can make these fit to whoever you're gift, gifting them to or whatever right. you're using it for. Um, but I am going to be showing you all how to do the woodland animal one this just one. because it has a lot more moving parts than the other one. And that way you guys can get kind of get the most. Like we're going to be doing a print and cut there. Yes. I'm going to show you how to slice those trees into the border. Um, there's layering, cardstock, and just building that shadow box alone is like, it's really fun. Yes. It's very fun. So you guys are going to love that one. Now, this is one that um, you don't have to have. Now, I will say this. Alicia created this one. This was the first one that she created. Um, she created this one with 12 by 24 cardstock. However, her and Courtney worked so, so hard to get the file actually broken down to where you can do this with 12 by 12 cardstock. And this one was created with 12 by 12 cardstock, correct? correct? Yeah. So, this is... Um, you don't have to have any special card stock, just your regular medium weight, 60 to 65 pound card stock, mm -hmm. 12 by 12. That's it. Yep. And Alicia is also going to be teaching you all how to do these rolled paper flowers if you don't know how. Mm -hmm. um, she's going to be teaching you how to do these in case you don't want to do something similar to this little woodland animal one. Yeah, and so, y'all you know, can look look through the files on our website if you are a member and kind of see what you're liking already. Go ahead and get those files downloaded. Yes. That way you can kind of work along with this when we're doing the print and cut part and when we're doing, you know, cutting out the leaves and things like that, you can go ahead and have all of your little parts ready. Yes. So, so the next one that I'll, so that one is one, definitely go through there. Also, just so you guys know, this is the one, um, that Alicia sent a video so that you all could have this one pre-cut because it does take a while for you all to cut this, um, to cut the shadow box. Mm -hmm. So that is one that we want you guys to have pre-cut if you can. That is definitely something that pre, just to let you guys know, if you are coming, we're going to try to have this cut. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, and go ahead and get your little embellishments. If you have um, an idea of what you want to do, let's say you don't want to do woodland creatures. Um, what's another nursery? Under the sea. Under the sea. If you wanted to do like little seashells, get that ready. Um, but we wanted to make sure that you all, you know, kind of get an idea of what you may want right. to do. Um, that way we can go ahead and just assemble it all together mm -hmm. on Saturday. Um, so the next one, which one should we talk about next? Ooh, do um, your design space, do the design space technique. Okay. So it's kind of out of frame, so they couldn't really see it. This one is the next one that I'm going to talk about. So this is a new design space technique that we are going to be teaching you guys, and we're going to go overhead, and I'll show you all. This is on a pillow, but this design space technique is we're going to teach you guys how to place names or words or whatever 
in a shape. So whether that is a star, this a one heart. is a crescent moon, a heart, all kinds of different ideas. We're going to be teaching you a new design space technique where we show you how to place all of these words. Y'all, yes. this is, I mean, who doesn't want a pillow like this? I think this is such a great idea for um, a grandmother, a great grandmother. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many. This one, obviously, I love you to the moon and back. And um, Alicia created this one, and it has all of the names of grandchildren. Great grandchildren. And children? Yes. Children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. Yes. And I just think it is adorable. It is. It, and it'd be such a cute little gift. I feel like yes. it's something different that people may not have. And I feel like this is something you would see on Etsy and be like, I got to buy that for Christmas. Yes. But y'all can make it. And with the technique, Mother's Day. Mother's Day. That's perfect. That's what Sadie was saying, Mother's Day. Yes. yes. I think that's perfect. That and is a great. You know, if Love You to the Moon and Back isn't your thing, you can do a heart and put whatever saying you want because uh -huh. we're going to show you the technique. Yep. So you don't have to necessarily do it exactly like what we're, what we did. So. Yep. Um, but there's so many different ways you can go with this one. So mm -hmm. that's another one. Maybe go ahead and start thinking about this one, the colors you want. Um, if you already have a pillowcase, it, like I said, you don't have to go out and buy a pillowcase for this. You can use this on a regular pillowcase. There's mm -hmm. so many different things. You could even do this technically on a shirt. Oh yeah, it would be cute like on a shirt. You could do this on so many different things. Yeah. What is the cushion material? This is, um, did you put polyfill or is this just a, a pillow that you got from Hobby Lobby? I don't remember. It's just a, it's I just think a, you just, or did you just buy the pillow cover and just stuff I the regular bought the pillow? pillow I bought the pillow cover and then we already had the pillow here, yeah. but I didn't use polyfill just because it gets lumpy. I think I just used like a standard blank pillow and just stuffed it in there. Now, if there are only a few names, we're going to go over and teach you guys how to do that with this. If yeah. you don't have as many names, um, we will show you exactly what to do for that. So, just Love so that. you know, this is the whoop, the design space technique that yes. we are going to be teaching you guys on Saturday. So cute. So, Everyone's loving them. They're like, cute. Wow. I Love know. it. <laughs> um, the next one, since we're just already on this side, we are going to be teaching y'all how to create. And y'all, this is a almost 100% Dollar Tree wreath. Can like, you believe can it? Can you believe it? I love it. I, because I can't. Florals and everything are mm -hmm. Dollar Tree. Yeah. But this, we are, the only thing, like I said, the only thing that is not Dollar Tree on this is this wood. Now, there, we're going to be teaching you all two different ways. Um, this is going to be work. This is going to be able to work if you have an explorer or a maker machine. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a maker, I think we have linked the basswood. So we're going to be teaching you all that. If not, I think the Cricut wood veneer. And we're just going to teach you what to do if you have an explorer and have to use the Cricut wood veneer. Yep. Um, but this is a... Like I said, other than this wood piece, 100% Dollar Tree. Even the ribbon. and The ribbon is a Dollar Tree as well. The 3 to $5 section ribbon at the Dollar Tree is so good. And they have so many good options. Like with wired ribbon, I mm -hmm. feel like it's hard to find good wired ribbon. And the Dollar Tree is just where it's at. So, it really is. They yeah. do have some really good wired ribbon. I agree. But for those that don't have a Dollar Tree near them or you can't find this at the Dollar Tree, you can find these wire wreaths at, um, I'm sure you can find them at Walmart or your local craft store. We mm -hmm. just did this as Dollar Tree because it's so cheap to right. get it there. And we really wanted to show you guys how to take something from Dollar Tree or something that might not look like it's I don't know, and make it look high end. Right, and honestly, that's like a ten to fifteen dollar wreath, but it looks way more expensive than that. In oh, my opinion. for sure. Yeah, it looks very nice and springy. Like, I would hang that on my door. Oh, no doubt about that. Yeah, I love it. So that is the wreath that we are going to be making. Let me make sure it gets hung back up here. <laughs> I had to balance it on there. Now, <laughs> the next thing that we're going to be making is the flip card. We're going to be teaching you guys how to create a flip card. 
And let's go over here so you can really, really see this because this is how your card starts out and then you open it up and it flips over and it just looks like a regular card. I love this little yes. guy. I think it's so cute. And just so you guys know, there looks to be a lot going on here. The reason being is because I wanted to show you guys that if you don't by chance have a printer and you can't do print and cut, obviously this in the front, this is a print and cut, but I wanted to show you the different ways that you could do this. So print and cut here, open it up. This is with permanent vinyl. If you don't have, if you don't want to write on it. So this is with permanent vinyl. And then this is using um, Cricut markers or Cricut pins and then writing on the circle and adding it in there. So that is why I wanted three different ways that you all could do this just for those that may not want, may have a preference one way or the other. That's why it looks kind of, in my opinion, it looks a little disjointed because there's so many different things going on. I honestly, I really like it. And I think the having the you are enough and then the thing on the front is like double doozy. Yeah. But like it still matches really well. It all matches. I still think yeah. it's so cute. And honestly, you guys, I did not have faith in this project. She did not. So let me tell you guys, <laughs> I was the one that was tasked to create the card because Alicia <laughs> at the time um, was fed up with cards. Yes. She said, I'm not doing any more cards. <laughs> I've had enough. I don't like, I mean, I was, it was anyway. I had made a couple, I had a bad taste in my mouth, okay? Yes, and she <laughs> was like, every time I went to go make it, it was like she had kind of had a stink face, like. <laughs> but it was so cute, it yeah. turned out so good, and I was like, dang, you really did that. You, like, Look, the card even says have faith. I know. The card even Lauren says have faith. Send me, Lauren, that card is actually for me. <laughs> <laughs> I made this card for Alicia. <laughs> I said there are brighter days ahead. Love you always, Lauren. Aww, so sweet. <laughs> there are brighter cards ahead. Oh, <laughs> I love so it. So we're going to be teaching you guys how to do this. Now, it doesn't have to be. The file that we're going to be working with is a circular file. Um, there are some ways you can finagle if you are... Um, if you are savvy with like the Silhouette Design Studio, you can change the um, like the shape the of the shape. cutout as long as it's symmetrical. Yes. Yeah. But we're just going to be teaching you guys how to do it with the um, circle. Yeah. So this is the card that we're going to be making at Makeathon, and then last but not least, this is the vinyl technique that we are going to be teaching you guys. So we'll go ahead and go overhead. And I think it's kind of hard to see um, because I did use white and cream. I really think for Saturday, I'm going to use a bunch of different colors. But y'all, we're going to be taking all of your different scrap vinyl. So we don't need to go out and buy new vinyl. We don't need anything special. We are going to be taking scrap vinyl. And I'm going to be teaching you all how to cut scrap vinyl and keep it down in this mosaic pattern and apply it to a blank. I love it, it took quite a bit of testing, quite a bit of trial and error for this. So I'm going to be teaching you all how to use, um, actually put to use your scrap vinyl because I don't know about you all, but most of our scrap vinyl stays in a bin and we don't use it. I've been trying to do better, but you know, this is a perfect project for me and us. So we can actually yes. use up all of our scrap vinyl because we have tons. And I just feel bad throwing my vinyl away. I know, you know, I know. Gail, yes, you can make this card if you only have design space. I was just explaining that you can you can work the file around. You can absolutely do this with design space. You are only going to be doing this with design space. We're Let only me. using design space yes, for we're all of these projects. only using design space. Yes, no worries. But this is the vinyl technique. And what with this project... This is just stuff that we had laying around here at the office. Um, I don't, I think I have a water bottle linked in the supply list, but I want to make sure that you guys understand this was one of those projects where I wanted you all to use what you had. 
I don't want you to have to go grab, like buy something to put this on. Um, if you have a blank, like little frame or you have a water bottle or you a have mug. a mug or you yeah. have literally anything, that's what I want you guys to grab to put this on. I don't want you to have to go out and buy something unless you want to. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to be teaching you all how to lay all of this down and cut this. Um, and I'll be real honest, this is something that I don't know that I have seen anybody else do this. I haven't. I hadn't seen I, it before. Because I searched YouTube and I don't think I have seen anyone else do this. I love it. So It's very unique. Like I said, we're going to be teaching you all this in Makeathon. It's going to be super, super mm -hmm. fun. I really think that this is going to be something that you all will be able to utilize later on. For sure. For sure. Um, so yeah, these are the projects that we are going to be making. I hope this has really, really excited you guys. Um, I'm going to head back over here with Alicia. Yeah. Now, if you are, let's play a little game. Okay. If you're coming to Makeathon, I want you to drop a red heart if you're coming. Mm -hmm. If you're not coming but want to, I want you to drop a green heart. Okay. Okay. So we want to see. Who is coming? Who is not coming? I know we have a lot of people who are coming because you all like always show up for us. But I want to see the people that are kind of on the fence also. Yeah. Like what's it going to take? We need you guys to come and hang out with us, okay? We want to <laughs> hang out with you guys. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. And I think it's going to be so different than anything you all have done. Like I don't know a lot of, I've never really attended a true a virtual event other than like literally being on the internet every mm -hmm. day of the week. But like. This is going to be so different in that we're going to be chit-chatting with you all and answering questions in real time. We're going to be crafting together. It's like the closest thing you can get to an in-person event, I feel like. Yeah, without being in person. Right, without being actually in person. Look at all the red hearts. I know. Oh, my. I'm so excited. Yeah, so you all can cut um, the shadow box. I sent a video out. Um, you can cut ahead of time. The other the stuff. stuff for the water bottle, um, I mean, if you want to pick your colors out, out of your scrap vinyl mm -hmm. that you have, and like all I, I don't want to go like into too much detail about it, um, but you can cut up the pieces ahead of time mm -hmm. um, if you want to, but really and truly, we have an hour to do that craft, I think. Yeah. Um, and I don't know that it would take, I don't know that it's going to take us. A full. A full hour. So yeah. I think that might be something that, um, and we're starting with the shadow box. Yes. I don't know what happened and how it ended up being first, but be ready. Be <laughs> we're, prepared. We're starting with the shadow box right off the get go. Um, so. Suzanne asks or says, I'm concerned about making it with you. Can we watch it again later? Suzanne, yes, mm -hmm. you actually get lifetime access to the call to the Zoom call, it will be located in your MGL dashboard. If you are not an MGL member, you will still create a username and password. Um, you won't have access to the rest of the site, but you'll still have lifetime access to that call mm -hmm. that for Saturday. Yes. And so I'm seeing a few green hearts. And, you know, I just want to say that if for some reason you can't make it to this one, we're really want, wanting to get a lot of feedback after this event so that we can know how to fix it or if there's if if anything you know comes up we want to know how to make this a really really fun event for you all so mm -hmm. you know we're always trying to do some fun events like this is not going to be the last time this right. is not going to be the, we no. always do fun i mean maybe it won't be make a thon but y'all know we all got always have something to burst leave. absolutely so um Donna asks, how many hours are slotted and do we have breaks? Yes, Donna, we do have breaks. We have to have breaks. You guys have to have breaks. Um, but we are starting at 10 a.m. Eastern time and going until 4. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Um, 5. 5. Okay. Yeah. So 10 a.m. Eastern, Eastern time to 4 p.m. Eastern time. But you don't have to be with us the whole time mm -hmm. if you have other obligations. Right. Um, like I said, you do have, you will have access to replay everything for the lifetime. Yes. Um, and then Yvette had a question, but it looks like that might be something. Yvette, email customer service 
and they will either answer that for you or shoot that question over to us because that is something that we can answer like more detailed. Yeah. Um, and it could also be design space. Yes. If we can't fix you, uh, Cricut help. Customer yes. service can help. But definitely email hi at makersgonnalearn.com so that we can make sure we get you. Um, we're so glad that you joined with us in January, first of all. Yeah. But we want to make sure we take care of you and make sure that you can get all of your images that you want from our website, website downloaded into Design Space. Rebecca says, I'm just seeing this. Can you please explain how this works and costs? So what we've been talking about today is our Makeathon event. It's happening on Saturday from 10 to 5 Eastern time. And basically, we're just going to be real time crafting with you all all day. The whole team. Courtney's doing Via one. Zoom. Tanner's doing one. Yes. Lauren's doing one. I'm doing one. And Tanner's, Tanner's doing, doing two. two. Yeah. So um, we're going to be crafting with you all. And then we're going to have like a little break off area so we can chit chat if you have questions. Mm -hmm. um, and the cost is 127 so Sadie dropped the link up at the top for you all if you are interested in signing up. If you're like, what are, what are you making? What are you making? We just went over it so you guys can actually go back and see the crafts because this video will stay posted on the channel. Yes. So. so Donna, yes, send the hubby away for the day. Send them off to <laughs> go golfing, do whatever they want to do. Send them away so it's just us crafting <laughs> together. and. I think I'm going to spill this real quick because Marina says if it goes well, we need a Tennessee Mountain slash Dollywood retreat. Oh. I'm going to spill something. What? I, well, it was what we had wanted to do. Oh, okay. Yeah. So for the longest time, we really wanted this to kind of be a hybrid event. Mm -hmm. It didn't work out because the couple places that we looked at, we weren't able to get. Yeah. So we really wanted it to be this to be a partial in person, partial like virtual event, mm -hmm. so that we could craft with some of our friends in person. But y'all, we are getting closer to that in person event. I yeah. think we really tried to move the needle here. Yeah. <laughs> we really Man, Alicia, we're pushing. Yeah. So um, you know, another day, another time. But this is still going to be really, really cool. So we're still really excited. Um, we will email you guys the Zoom link, and I'm sure the link will also be posted in the dashboard on mm -hmm. the page that you see when you log in as well. Yes, for sure. So Lindsay said, I already told him he's got the kids Saturday. Yep. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yay. Yeah, my husband's keeping my kid, too. I was like, I got some fun things to do. Peace out. Peace out. Okay, well. Does anybody have any more questions? I know today was kind of a short um, live. We just wanted to make sure that you guys got to see the projects beforehand mm -hmm. so that if we did have any friends that were on the fence, that they could kind of get an idea and maybe join us on Saturday. Um and it was a little, it was, a, listen, it was a surprise for us, too. <laughs> yes. The live was a surprise for us, too. Yes, it was. So we love that. <laughs> love it. Is the cost separate from the membership cost? Lori, yes, it is. Um, it is separate from the membership cost. This is a one day. This is kind of like very similar, which if you've not been around Makers Gonna Learn for a while, they used to have yearly summits. Yes. So this is very similar, but a lot different from what the yearly summits used to be. Now we host yearly summits for free for our yearly members. Mm -hmm. um, so this is gonna be different. It's going to be on Zoom. You're gonna be able to ask questions back and forth. Right. Um, it's gonna be, like I said, it's gonna be a lot different. Um, so, yes, it is separate from the uh, membership cost. But, like I said, if you don't have a membership, but maybe you want to get a taste of what Makers Gonna Learn is about and all this stuff, you can still sign up for the Makeathon event. And all you have to, we, gi we give you all of the files that we are using within this event. Yes. And someone asked if they're supposed to be getting something in the mail before Saturday. No, nothing went out for this event. Everything that, we're making you or you have on your own like you yeah. go gather on your own yes. so and you should be unless like, you signed up 
way before when we were like when running we specials. were running specials, we had a swag bag like back when we announced Makeathon way yes. back in like November. Now, if you thought that you were supposed to receive that, then, then you yes. need to email customer service. Yes, because those have been sent out for a while, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, but I'll also say you don't need them for the event. No, you don't have to. So have you a swag can bag. you can receive them later, but you don't need them for the actual event. So. Um, Marina, no, you do not have to be on camera if you don't want to. You can turn your camera off. Yes. We completely understand. We won't make y'all do that. Yup. Oh, Carol's not going to make it on Saturday. Aww. So we'll have to see you on the, the Monday when we get back. But Sounds good. Okay, if y'all have any other questions that we didn't answer, make sure to email hi at Maker's Going to Learn. We can answer it that way. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, we will see everybody at Makeathon on Saturday. Sounds good. All right. Bye. Bye.